let's roll back the reel to the 40s, where an infamous feud between Joan Crawford and Bette Davis was in full swing. The year was 1941, Davis was up for an Oscar for her role in The Little Foxes, while Crawford wasn't. Crawford reportedly campaigned against Davis, and even offered to accept the award on behalf of any winning Academy member who couldn't attend. When Ginger Rogers won for Kitty Foyle, Crawford took to the stage, leaving Davis seething. Fast forward to 1952, Crawford ties the knot with her fourth husband, Alfred Steele, a Pepsi-Cola executive. With her new role as a board member and spokesperson for Pepsi, Crawford frequently promoted the brand. Davis, a clear cola hater, once quipped, She's sleeping with the enemy! The year 1963 saw another Oscar nomination for Davis, this time for Whatever Happened to Baby Jane. Again, Crawford was overlooked. Undeterred, Crawford offered to accept the award on behalf of any absentee nominee. When Anne Bancroft won for The Miracle Worker, Crawford seized the Oscar backstage, leaving Davis and the audience in shock. In 1964, Crawford and Davis were set to co-star in Hush Hush Sweet Charlotte, a sequel to Whatever Happened to Baby Jane. However, Crawford dropped out due to illness, replaced by Olivia de Havilland, who was more amicable with Davis. Rumors swirled that Crawford faked her illness or that Davis made the set unbearable for her. Flash to 1953, where Marilyn Monroe and Jane Russell, co-stars in Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, clash due to their contrasting personalities. Russell, confident and punctual, disapproved of Monroe's tardiness and controversial love life, leading to several on-set altercations. Fast forward to 1983, where Oscar veterans Shirley MacLaine and Deborah Winger, co-stars in Terms of Endearment, found themselves in a power struggle. The two competed for attention, often arguing over their scenes and lines. Winger even reportedly farted in McLean's face during a rehearsal, much to McLean's disgust. And finally, in 2009, the friendship between Madonna and Gwyneth Paltrow turned sour. After Madonna fired their shared personal trainer Tracy Anderson, the once inseparable duo found their bond strained. In conclusion, Hollywood's history is littered with off-screen feuds that often outshone the on-screen drama. From Joan Crawford and Bette Davis's Oscar rivalry, Marilyn Monroe and Jane Russell's personality clash, to the power struggle between Shirley MacLaine and Deborah Winger, and the friendship fallout of Madonna and Gwyneth Paltrow, Tinseltown is no stranger to drama. Stay tuned for more fascinating tales from behind the silver screen.